Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to classify the plant diseases using multi-class support vector machine in Python. So for that you can create one folder in the name of plant. Then inside that folder you can collect your own data sets and you can keep all those data sets in a separate folder. Here I have taken three different classes. The data set 1 contains the normal plant leaves and the data sets 2 is the early blight disease it's a kind of disease and data sets 3 it's the bacterial spot so i have taken three different classes that's why we are saying it's a multi-class sphere so i'm going to classify this multi-class problem i am going to solve this problem so first you can open the anaconda navigator then you can have that uh, jupyter notebook you can just launch it once launch that uh, notebook you can create just python 3 editor then you can type the program here and you can save it save as a particular name so automatically it will save it in the corresponding folder so I, I already saved the data now I am going to load the data it is there in the desktop mm, Python SPM plan Jupyter IPM so this is my original file so first we need to load the library Inform. We need to import it, the library file uh, commands, the imports cv2, open cv, compute version toolbox, globe, scale and so all the library should be imported here. Then point us pickle. Then we need to define the path. So path is equal to data set 1. Already we have created that folder. So we are going to read all those images. So first you generate one empty array then you use the for loop and take that path and just read all those files so here is cv2.im read is the reading file then you just take one plane of the image then you can we need to calculate the features to classify with the help of svm so i have taken the grace gray co-occurrence matrix from that i have taken different features like contrast dissimilarity homogeneity energy and correlation then another kind of feature also i have taken that means frequency features it is based upon the wave discrete wavelet transform by orthogonal wavelets so here also i have taken some standard deviation mean value like that <coughs> i have taken all the different sub bands that means different frequency bands finally i have keep all those features in a single variable like feat then i'm appending all those images so once you run it all the files read read from the folder dataset one and all the features have been stored in the array of avg array then we are providing the path of second data sets to then again we are doing the same thing by using the for, for loop we are reading all those images and saving the features here avg array one so likewise we can do it for the data set three finally we are going to append all the features so here how many data we have to we need to provide the number of data 60 then we are calculating we are extracting 12 number of features so we need to reshape it then we need to provide the label for training the data so here first 20 data i have, I have taken as 1 then second 20 data I have, I have taken as 2 then 3 that means 1 plus np dot 1 means 2 then we are i'm going to split the data for train and test x train x test y train and y test so automatically it's getting the training and testing happening here then if you want to check any custom image means we need to input that images then then after that we, we are going to 
just read those images then printing then again we are uh, extracting the, all those features for our input image then after that we are going to train the data here only the training is happening x train and y train x train is the feature data y train is the label data then the prediction so svm.predict is the prediction so x test is our testing data which is pre predicted by this multi-class support vector machine then this is the input prediction custom prediction svm predict of out so out is nothing but our input feature data feed qf so here we calculated feed qf this is our custom input data so finally so y pred will be getting the output as 1 or 2 or 3 so if it is comes 1 means early blight and 2 means normal and 3 means factory response after that we can calculate the uh, accuracy sensitivity specificity everything then after that we can just plot it over there so now i'm going to run the program now just to click this button so it started to run it's taking the images one by one finally finally it is asking to enter the data so here i'm, I'm going i need to give the test data so here i have taken some test data from one to one one two like that so we need to provide the file name of data now i am going to give one one dot jpg oh sorry it's showing that a is equal not enough value turn back okay again i'm running it now i'm going to the value the value 109 109 dot jpg now it's producing the result it's so the testing is going on yeah we got the result so you can you can see the output output is normal and the accuracy here i have only taken the tested data as input training data as input so the all the accuracy will be getting one so i'm going to check the another disease so here i can take two who is the another kind of disease that is i think early blight or this one bacterial spot so let's see what's outcome okay so this is the early blight so i'm checking going to check the another one so here what i'm giving i'm giving the image of 20 20 dot shape here yeah mm, what is this yeah this is also valid plate right? okay once again i'm checking another data maybe i'm keeping on data from here let's check it jpj yeah now it's the bacterial spot okay so we have taken three classes it's classifying into three types normal bacterial spot and yearly blades so this is all about the multi-class svm so i hope you understand everything if any doubt means you can ask me and you can contact me through email or whatsapp okay thank you thanks for watching